Very good, uh, Mr. Shim. Today we're going to take care of some uh, whole Elephant Institute office uh, record. Mm -hmm. uh, the first very important record we need to let our whole Elephant Institute committee board members and the community members know about uh, is a, a letter sent from Fire Department of the City of New York. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So um, the date is uh, June 9th, 2023. And uh, the amount that is uh, basically listed here is a uh, One thousand five hundred and seventy-three dollars. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, it says send payment to make checks payable to fire department of the city of New York. Mm -hmm. So it's from the fire department of the city of New York. And uh, so this is being charged towards me, Dr. Lotus King Wise, and they label me as mm -hmm. patient name. You see that? Right here. Mm -hmm. You see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they, they are the fire department of the city label me as patient. Mm. Okay. And uh, so, what is the reason for this bill? Description of service performed. They say they, de they de deliver the service to me. Mm -hmm. That's why I supposed to pay it. What's the service? Emergency. Mm. May 28th. Yeah. Okay, so emergency fee is $1,385. Mm. And the same day, another listing is called a mileage, mm. $20. I guess mileage means uh, the fee that is used to drive the amb ambulance, the... Uh, yeah, uh, gasoline, right? Oh, Whatever. gasoline, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they charge $20 for driving, costing the gasoline, and then using mo uh, mobilize uh, the ambulance for mm. $1,385. And they label me as patient. Mm. They indicated that they delivered me a service. This is yeah. what is really going on at New York City these mm, days. Mm. And uh, we already let the general public know what happened that day, right? Mm. I was meditating outside of my office. Mm. After meditation, I returned to the office and I was harassed by the entire family of that house, the mm. Fujianese family, Mr. De Ren Ren and uh, his wife, Miss Wang Fen and Wang Fen's father, mm. Jing Chang Wang. Mm. The three of them harassed me, and then they called the police. Mm. And then they faked, uh, I mean, they did a false allegation. They accused me of harassing them to the degree that their 80-year-old daughter was committing suicide. Okay, yeah. so who called the ambulance? It's the... They, they called. Yeah, it is Mr. De Ren Ren and Ms. Wang Fen. Mm. They called for 911. Yeah. Okay, so the, the record of the city should be very clear. Whoever called the ambulance should be the one paying the bill. Correct? Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't call the ambulance. Yeah. They call the ambulance. Now they call the ambulance accusing me of harassing them. Now if I pay this bill, which means that I accept their charge, that I was a troublemaker. Yeah. I harassed them and caused them to call 911 to the degree that also also accept the charge that the 80 year old was committing suicide because of my harassment. Do you know what I mean? That's why I cannot pay for it. Yeah, it's not a money issue. Yeah. It's not a money issue. It is really a crime we're talking about yeah. here. This is very serious because if American citizen, peaceful, wonderful, 
and uh, being attacked by people who follow the Chinese Communist government's hate propaganda. Mm. And the city supposed to investigate, right? Mm. So we try to help the city to investigate. I called 311. I asked the question about where should I go to clarify the truth. 311 directed me to the NYPD Internal Affairs Office. I filed a claim to tell the NYPD Police Internal Affairs Office to investigate what happened in May 28th and mm -hmm. told them that the reason of this kind of vicious incidents occur, the police of NYPD really need to be educated and I'm willing to donate time to help the police to learn about the truth. Still no answer, right? Still. I said, this is not going to just disappear, right? No, no, no. We're going to call you back. Okay, how long? Within three weeks. It's already past the three weeks. Mm. Nothing came back. Mm. NYPD Internal Affairs Office is not calling me back to give me any answer of their investigation of what happened on May 29th, what, May 28th, mm. by the 109 precinct, correct? Mm -hmm. Not only that, Mr. Shin, you saw me printed out this much sheets telling the truth. And we together go to the 109 prison to try to let the 109 prison to build a case mm -hmm. and let them hear what is the truth behind May 28th. Because I told this whole thing to our human rights attorney, Ms. Attorney Ning Ye. Attorney Ning Ye said, if the mother use a child as a weapon and a fake the child to be committing suicide. The child could be greatly endangered by her accusation because if the child is committing suicide, then the medical system will have to take that child into very serious treatment of psychological depression, mm. correct? Yeah. Correct. Well, I don't see anything happening on that side. Mm. The child didn't seem to be having any emotional trauma. She was dancing and happily running around the same day. When I returned home, mm. 